I don't even want to throw this thing out because this product's probably worth like two dollars on here. All right, so today we are back for Foundation Friday. This is the first Foundation Friday after 15 days of foundation ended. So I just did the wrap up video last week. So if you wanna know my top foundations from season six, 15 days of foundation, you can check out that video, but we are back. So I do Foundation Friday every single Friday on my channel, 6 p.m. Pacific time if you're new here. But I thought it would be interesting to test out the most expensive foundation on Sephora. There are actually three foundations that all cost the same on Sephora, the most expensive ones that are all $120, $120 for a foundation. The Giorgio Armani Crema Nude Foundation, which only comes in three colors, might I add. The La Mer Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation, which I have been wanting to try for forever. And then also the La Mer Luminous Lifting Cushion Foundation, which is the one that I picked up because I haven't heard anything about this one and I'm always down for a good cushion foundation. $120 for a cushion foundation is something that I can say I have never done and will probably never do again but here we are. So this foundation comes in 11 shades, pretty shitty shade range, retails for $120, like I said, and the description says it delivers hydration and radiant medium coverage for a flawless look and plumper, firmer feel all in one compact. So you guys will see me unboxing this and stuff in the demo, but here's the compact and it does actually come with a refill cushion. So you are getting two for one. It's about $60 per cushion if you wanna think of it that way you know, still expensive. Make sure if you have any cushion foundation that if it feels like it's starting to dry up that you actually take out the cushion and flip it over because there's tons of product that gets underneath the cushion. So you do wanna flip it and you'll get way more uses out of it. I also have a DIY cushion foundation video if you wanna see how to turn any of your foundations into a cushion foundation. But if you're excited for Foundation Friday, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, you can join the Bayredo family and subscribe. Well, let's get into it and test out, where did I just put it? the most expensive foundation on Sephora. Okay, so the description on Neutral Ivory 12 says very light skin with neutral undertone. So that was still in the very light skin category. This one just had the neutral undertone, which is why I picked this shade. So I've been applying Aquaphor to my scarring things, cuts from the thermoplaning esthetician. I have a breakout right here right now. Oh, it's very tiny. <laughs> it's picturing like this massive, Compact, okay, oh, wow. Down here you get, oh, this is the actual cushion, okay. So it's a really pretty pink kind of packaging. And, oh, do you get an extra cushion? That makes it a little bit more justifiable to be $120. I guess you're getting basically like two foundations. So usually I find that the applicators that cushion foundations come with apply best with cushion foundations, but I will try maybe have my face with a sponge. Let's see how it goes with this, with this thing first, but here we go. Definitely really fragranced. It smells like citrusy. It smells like kitchen hand soap. I do eventually want to do my top cushion foundations video, but I feel like I still have a few I want to try before that. So the shade is a bit dark. Looking at my neck, the undertone looks right, but it's definitely about a shade dark, so hopefully that doesn't oxidize throughout the day. I'm just going to bring this across my forehead. I guess we'll try this part of my face with the sponge. Ooh, getting pretty good coverage. Actually has more coverage than I thought. So this is supposed to be medium coverage. I do think it looks like medium coverage, but high medium. Looks like I'm starting to crease already on my upper lip. And it definitely looks luminous. I like a luminous foundation. See if it builds up a little bit on this side. A little bit does go a long way. I don't even know where to put that. See if I can build up the scarring over here. Okay, it is looking like it's building. Looks really pretty on the skin. Feels very white, white. Wow, I cannot talk today. Lightweight. Right now, it's looking beautiful. It's looking good on my forehead. Looks good between my eyebrows. The only thing I'm noticing is that it's kind of like emphasizing my pores a little bit. Sitting on the skin really nice. I just have a scar there from the esthetician thing. And then right here too, you can kind of see it, but it's looking just very smooth and radiant and super pretty. Right now, do I think it looks any better than my like $20 cushion foundation? Not really, I don't think it looks like 
you know, unreal or like super different than another Christian foundation, but we'll see how it wears throughout the day. Right now I am really liking it. I don't even want to throw this thing out because this product's probably worth like $2 on here. It does look like it's mattifying a tiny bit, which I don't mind because it looks like it's just turning into more of like a satin kind of finish down here at least. On my forehead, it still looks super dewy, but I'm going to give this one a couple minutes to see if it sets down, see if I need to powder my cheek area at all. It's feeling like it is starting to set. Right now it's 9.28, so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. This is going to be one of those days where there's lipstick all over my teeth this entire video. I'm calling it now. But it's now 9.56. We're going to call the check-in time. What did I say? When did I leave you guys? 9.30? I think it was 9.30. We're going to call the check-in time 9.30. So the rest of my makeup is on, and I actually didn't have to set my face, which I love. It feels still slightly tacky, but totally fine to blend stuff on top. I didn't feel like I had any major issues blending my products on top of it. It looks very nice right now really nice. I am starting to get a little bit of dryness on my upper lip. It looks like it's going to be maybe one that creases, but everywhere else looks beautiful. I love the way my forehead looks. It just looks like radiant skin. You can't like see the product sitting on top of my skin, but the makeup on the rest of my face, I use the Pure Bronzing Act Matte Bronzer. This has been one of my favorites lately. It is so pretty. For blush and highlight, I use this NARS palette. This is in Exposed, and I'm not sure how I feel about this. I've used this like four times I want to say so far. It's an interesting formula. It's pretty stiff, but I almost feel like it's one of those blush formulas that kind of like lifts up the makeup underneath a little bit. I'm still playing around with it, but I used this highlight and this blush shade today. For eyes, I used the new Morphe 35G Bronze Goals palette, and this just has exactly what it sounds like. Tons of bronzy shades in here and really like warm summery kind of shades. For lips, I used Collab See-Through Liner with Bare Minerals Peony, the new lipsticks. This is their Bare Pro lipstick, and I think that's everything on my face. I didn't want to do lashes today since we're doing a full day wear test, and I uh, don't want to be rubbing my eyes all day. And my vlog camera that I usually do to use check it do what that I usually use to do check ins. My charger is completely MIA, and I have a new one on the way. So we are actually going to be doing the check ins on my phone today. So just a little heads up, but let's go do that so we can see what this looks like in natural lighting, and I'll do a flash test. All right, so we are in natural lighting on my phone right now, and it looks really pretty. It looks very just flattering on the skin, super glowy. Looks good with my under eye concealer. Like sometimes you can see a distinction and everything just looks like it's blending really nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna pop in the flash photo right here. I think it looks really good in flash. And by the way, the shade out in natural lighting, I actually think the shade looks pretty good now. It looks really nice. I don't want to like this for that much money. See you guys in a few hours in natural lighting for the next check-in. All right, it's now, my paper's right there. It's now 3.30, so it's been on for six hours and I haven't looked in the mirror or anything at all yet today. So let's, ooh, it's been a little downhill. Looks good on camera, but um, we're gonna get up close here as much as we can on my phone. So I'm not sure if you guys will be able to tell, but it is making my pores look massive. I don't know, it's just like really emphasizing them on both sides. And then my forehead is looking almost like oily. I don't mind it, like I would rather have foundations look like this than like super matte and cakey, but I do think in real life it's looking a bit worse on this half of my face. That is not highlight, that is oil or whatever. So right now for the price, it's definitely not like holding up how I would want it to. I don't think this is doing any better than some of my other cushion foundations. Typically they're not super long wearing, but for this price, I just wouldn't pay that for something that looks good for like the first two hours, you know? The Misha Magic M Cushion Foundation lasts great on my skin. It looks beautiful. I think it's around 20-ish dollars, depending on where you get it. But we'll see how this looks by the end of the night. I'm about to go take some photos for a blog post. I did a blog post on my gallery wall, so if you guys want to see that, if you missed it, I'll pop it in right here. But I did a little blog post so you can shop the gallery wall and like see where everything is from. So I'm about to go take the photos right now for that blog post. I'll see you guys at the end of the okay, night. So it's now 7.30, so it's been on for 10 hours. I just worked out. I wasn't like heavily, heavily sweating, but I did sweat a little bit on my forehead. So let's take a look and see how we are looking. Very greasy. <laughs> feel like I look super greasy on my forehead, but also around my nose and on my nose, like on the bridge of my nose. And it looks like it's rubbed off on my chin. Yeah, it's definitely rubbed off like in this whole area right here. 
I wouldn't say this one is like long lasting or anything. Not even long lasting, just like lasting. <laughs> like I feel like it came off pretty early on into the day and it's just gotten a little bit like worse throughout the day. It doesn't look horrible. It just, for $120, there's no way. Like I said, I like a couple of my $20, $30 cushion foundations much better than this one. So for me, this one isn't worth it. So this one is a pass for me. I actually found my camera charger. I'm so excited. I don't know if it was that one or I think it was an extra one, but I found the extra one. So that's good. But I literally just found it. So it's charging in the wall right now. But I am going to shower watch the bachelor finale part two tonight i hope you guys enjoyed this foundation friday back in action if you did you can give it a thumbs up i love you guys thanks for watching see you in my next video bye